The mysteries of Islam fascinate us time and time again. This is no different from the life story of the Prophet. Who was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam? An illiterate desert merchant who one day stumbled upon amazing Arabic rhetoric? Or was he the creation of Allah's greatest light, sent down to earth to pull man out of ignorance and bring them to the purest of truths? I, Ali Burji, am on a journey to discover the real story behind the Prophet, the real story behind our religion, the root, the beginning, the cradle of civilization. So, um, Doctor, regarding Sayyidah Khadija alayhi salam, how old was she when the, she got married to the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa salatu wa salam ala Muhammadin wa alihi tayyibin wa tahirin ma'asumin. In the previous episode, we were talking about the qualities of Sayyidah Khadija alayhi salam and uh, the last thing I remember that we said was that uh, the Prophet was talking about Sayyidah Khadija and, and he mentioned that I have not seen an employer uh, treating their employees better than Sayyidah Khadija treating um, and fairly better than Sayyidah Khadija treating her employees. I'm um, sure she did. Uh, so uh, she was very fair uh, and very uh, kind to her employees uh, and people who worked uh, for her. Um, as to your question, um, that um, how old was she when she married uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi? And of course, there is another question uh, that um, she uh, whether she had married before mm. the Prophet um, and whether she had children. And of course, they say that um, the various reports about her age. Um, we have reports of um, that she wa she, when she married the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa she was 25. Some say 28. Some say 30. Some say 40. And uh, some reports say that she had married twice before, and uh, she had uh, uh, three daughters from her previous marriage. Um, of course, some of these narrations, so on, are if you go and research you realize that they've been fabricated by those who wanted to undermine Khadija, the Prophet, Imam Ali, Fatima al-Zahra, and sure. so on and so forth. Um, now, I'd like to, using this book, which I'd refer to, uh, showed it to you by uh, uh, Sheikh Ali Akbar Mahdipur. Um, um, it's a very good book, uh, a brief, about the life of the Prophet uh, of Sayyidah Khadija alayhi salam and um, the author narrates that there are various scholars and works uh, that deal with these issues the issue of uh, her age and uh, um, whether or not she married before she had married before the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, and whether or not she had children and uh, in brief that uh, she was uh, 25 up to at most uh, 28 um, that she she was 25 or 28 up to 28 when she married the prophet and of course the shia scholars say she was 25 she was the same age as, as the prophet so they were, they were both 25 when they married and um, she had uh, never married before and I'll give you the references. Um, and therefore, the three uh, daughters, three girls that they are, their names are mentioned and being um, uh, associated with the, uh, with Sayyidah Khadija, uh, that is um, Zainab Ruqayya and Umm Kulthum. Uh, they are the daughters of, of her sister Hala, uh, not her own daughters. As for um, for the fact that she had never married, there are various works which uh, uh, confirm this, and uh, the reference there are a number of them. One of them is the book by, uh, called Al Shafi fil Imamah, 
by Sayyid Murtada Al Alam Al Huda. And um, Sayyid Murtada Alam Al Huda was born uh, in the 10th century. Um, uh, I think it was something like 9, 950, 955, 955. Um, Sayyid Murtada Alam Al Huda in this book, Al Shafi Fil Imam, confirms that she had uh, never married before, before she married the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sayyid Khadija. Sayyid Murtada, as you may know, Sayyid Murtada Alam Huda is the brother of Sayyid Radi. And Sayyid Radi is the uh, compiler of Nahjul Balagha Ali, uh, the book, the speeches of Imam Ali, Ali the speeches and sermons and um, letters. Uh, so the, they say Sayyid Radi and Sayyid Murtada, uh, uh, they are um, uh, one of the, or some of the, amongst the highly learned scholars of the Shia and uh, in his book, al Shafi fil Imama, he confirms that Sayyid Khadija was uh, uh, not married before she married the Prophet. Another one, Shaykh al Tusi, uh, he also confirms that she uh, was not married before she married the, she married the Prophet. Uh, Shaykh al Tusi is another grand, uh, great scholar uh, of the Shia. And this is in, in the book, Talkhis al Shafi, which is. Uh, uh, by his uh, teacher, Sayyid Murtaba. Okay. Also, Al Baladhari, which is a Sunni scholar, in his book, Ansab al Ashraf, he states that she uh, never married before she married the Prophet. Another one is Abu al Qasim al Kufi, in his book, Al Istighatha fi Bid'a al Thalatha. Um, uh, we also have uh, Ibn Shahrashub in his work Manaqib Ali Abi Talib, which is well known. Um, I, I, in, in here they're given the page numbers and uh, the volumes. I'm not mentioning so that it doesn't become confusing. For example, Manaqib Ali Abi Talib, volume 1, page 160. Uh, also, Alama Majlisi in Bihar, volume 22, page 191. Um, they all mention that, confirm that she had not married before that. And the, and the fact that um, the daughters Zainab, Ruqayya, and Umm Kulthum are the uh, daughters of uh, Hala, uh, is the sister of Sayyidah Khadija. Okay. Again, for example, um, <coughs> narrators Ibn Sa'ad, again, that's one of the Tabaqat uh, al Kubra, in his book Tabaqat al Kubra, um, he states that she was, uh, he was one of the Sunni scholars. He, they stated that he, she was 28 when uh, uh, she married the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Al-Zahabi, in, in his book, Seer A'lam al-Nubala. Um, and I could read, there are great many references given in here in this book. And finally, the, one of the references I begin on this page, page 23 of this book, is that um, uh, Sayyid Khadija had never married is uh, a book by uh, Sayyid Muhammad Shirazi, the late Grand Ayatollah, uh, Ayatollah Al Sayyid Muhammad Shirazi, in his book Ummahat al Mu'mineen, page 90, uh, states that she had uh, uh, never married Sayyid Khadija before the Prophet. Okay. And again, uh, addressing the issue of the, 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 the three daughters, Ruqayya, Zainab, and Umm Kulthum, uh, for example, he cites the scholar Sayyid Muhsin al-Amin uh, in the book Ayan al-Shia, um, that he, he confirms that these um, were not the daughters of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Zainab Ruqayya and Umm Kulthum, they were the daughters of the sister of uh, 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 Sayyid Khadija. Also another book uh, by um, uh, Sayyid Ja'far Murtada al-Amili, Banat al Nabi Amra wa Abih, page 75, he addresses this issue and he confirms <coughs> that they, are, they were not the daughters of the Prophet and Sayyid Khadija. Uh, this is all because there's been this uh, <coughs> um, false information, if you like, that she had married twice before the Prophet, she had kids from the, those marriages um, before she married the Prophet. All of these confirm that she 
uh, and of also uh, other thing is that she was 40 when she married the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. These all confirm that she was about 25. Um, had never married before, and therefore she didn't have any daughters from any marriages. Okay, thank you for clarifying, Doctor. Another thing which I'd like to talk about um, before we come to uh, the issue of um, <coughs> the beginning of the Prophet of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Um, she, as we mentioned, that when the marriage ceremony ended finished they she off she gave away all her wealth to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and um Warqa bin Nawfil made um the announcement on her instruction. She instructed him that she she wants him to go and make that announcement. Um so they announced it there and then and he went by the Kaaba and uh, at the request of Sayyid Khadija to make that announcement that she'd given away all her wealth to the, to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Which again, we said that this really reflects on her understanding. Another thing which I wanted to mention was that it is said that, which well, is reported here, that when she went home, after a while the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went home, she was standing by, when he wanted to enter, she opened the door and she said, you're going to be the Prophet one day. I have one request from you. And that is, uh, I want you uh, uh, to pray for me. That was her request. Um, so that Allah is pleased with me. Um, this goes to show the level of her understanding, the appreciation, mm -hmm. the um, cognition she had, and the awareness she had about this whole mission of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Even that's 15 years before it started. Um, that's why I say that she was no ordinary woman, uh, no ordinary pious woman. Yeah. She was, uh, uh, I, see, I, I suppose the best thing that can exp uh, describe her is she was a Siddiqa, as we mentioned in the last episode, uh, which has been, has been explained by the uh, Imam Sadiq as meaning, uh, has the meaning of Ma'soom. Um, so this is quite significant, I think, and it, it, it's worth um, um, pondering upon um, when we read these passages. So when, um, when they, so we, 15 years fast forward, um, we, uh, when the Prophet, uh, by the way, in all the time, she used to, when the Prophet used to go to Ghar Hira for Where? Ghar Hira for worship. Uh, Ghar Hira. Yeah. Where, where, what is this? Sorry. This is just outside. Uh, uh, oh, it's a location. Me Mecca. Okay. Yeah, it's cave of uh, cave of Hira outside Mecca, where the Prophet spent a lot of time on regular basis going there uh, for worship. Uh, and uh, okay. even before the the um, uh, the revelation started, of course, the revelation first started there when while oh, he was. Oh, that's the cave. Yeah, where he was, where he was there. Say the Khadija, salam alayha, She used to take, if you like, uh, she she used to accompany him to to on certain occasions. She used to accompany him to to that um, uh, cave, or she used to, for instance, come join him later on, bring some food for him, f food and drink and so on, and um, uh, so that he, when he's tired, when he needs food and drink, he can, he can, he can. So she was very close to him, she was very supportive, she was very loyal, and of course you will see that when the mission of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam begins. And um, when um, 
when the mission begins, she completely and wholeheartedly um, believes in him. Um, and she's obviously she is the first one. Uh, she is the first woman who uh, brought faith to his religion. And um, on the very first day, when he comes back, when the revelations are made, uh, is made by Archangel Jibreel uh, uh, to the Prophet and he comes home, she can see um, on his face, uh, first of all, she, sa she sees him, um, he, she sees her f his face radiant, and um, she asks, "What is this radiance in your face?" She said, "This is uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, this is the light of prophethood, and uh, I had revelation made to me today uh, by Archangel Gabriel, and she immediately says." Amantu wa saddaqtu wa raditu wa sallamt. She was looking forward to this day. And uh, it means uh, I uh, have faith and believe in your message. And I testify to that. And I... Uh, uh, I'm pleased uh, and content with this religion and I uh, submit and surrender to the teachings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Amantu wa saddaqtu wa raditu wa sallamt. As I said, she was looking forward to this. She knew this was going to happen and this is what happened. And uh, so um, on the very first day, on the very first day, she brings faith to the religion of the Prophet, to the mission of the Prophet, religion of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alayhi. and uh, uh, she supports him in his endeavor, as we'll see. Uh, and of course, it was for um, it's well known that the first. A woman who believed in the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was Sayyidah Khadija, and the first man who believed in the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was Imam Ali alayhi salam. And for years, five times a day, they used to pray in the by the Kaaba. Three people: Sayyidah Khadija, the Imam Prophet Ali. sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Imam Ali, and Sayyidah Khadija. Subhanallah. Jama'ah. They were praying behind. They were praying behind. And um, later on, on instruction from Abu Talib, when he said to his son Ja'far, Ja'far al-Tayyar, you join your brother and join and pray with him. So he started praying with them. So we become four. SubhanAllah. And it was for years that these four people were praying. Um, as you know, that when uh, the prophethood of the Prophet Sallallahu began, when that is Archangel Gabriel appeared and revealed appeared to the Prophet and revealed uh, the first verses of the Qur'an. Of course, in the first instant, the entire Qur'an in its entirety was revealed to him. Um, it was um, not public. It was something like three years later when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi to go public. Indeed, uh, Sayyidah Khadija is well known uh, that addresses the Prophet ﷺ before marriage, she says, Ibn Am, um, I, I desire to marry you for your, um, for your honor, um, um, for your truthfulness, for your honesty, and for your good manners.